teased. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be going through my WWE action figure belt collection. I have over 150 championship belts, I'm pretty sure, right here. I did this video, I believe, uh, a long time ago. It might have been over a year ago. I'm not completely sure. Um, but I, I, since we've gotten so many new championship belts since we've done this video, I wanted to redo it. I wanted to revisit it, and you guys seemed to really like it last time. You guys left a ton of awesome comp comments on it. And I figured, why not go ahead and redo it? So today, we're going to go through my entire WWE figure belt collection. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is, I guess, just take each championship belt one by one and explain what I like about it, name the belt, and everything like that. I don't exactly know what I'll say about each championship that I select. But I do know that I have a ton of certain belts, so I guess if there's a repeat, I'll just show you guys it and then throw it in the tub. That way we'll get through it as fast as possible, but we will show each title belt on screen one at a time. Look at that random Stephanie McMahon skull in there. That's random. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and change camera angles, and we're going to dive right in. All right, guys, so here we go, starting out first with the good old-fashioned United States Championship. Really amazing belt. It looks even better in WWE figure form, but what a great championship. I know I have 150 of those, so I bet we'll see that one quite a few times. Here we have the Winged Eagle Championship. This came with the Target Exclusive Ultimate Warrior. Very nice. I love the light blue strap on it, and I did make a custom championship out of this, as you can see right here. This is the MDT Battle Royal Championship. Championship, and it'll probably be defended in the next few days, guys, because I think I'm going to redo the Horror Battle Royal since you guys saw where Jack Gallagher got cheated. Um, you guys believe he was cheated, so I may go ahead and redo that, but we do have two versions of that championship right there. Next up, we do have another U.S. title belt already, so that was pretty quick. We got into the next U.S. title. Next is the NXT Championship, the updated version. It came with the Target exclusive Bobby Roode. Looks really, really nice in figure form. Next up, we have the White Strap Intercontinental Championship, the current champion Seth Rollins. This is a beautiful belt. A lot of people's favorite version of the Intercontinental Championship. Not my favorite, but certainly a beautiful championship. Next, we have the current Raw Women's Championship, and I don't know, guys, I really don't like this belt just because it's a rehash of the WWE Universal and SmackDown Live Women's Championship, so I just wish it had an original design, but it's still fresh with the white strap. We have our first look at the Big Gold Championship or World Heavyweight Championship. We're going to see an absolute crap ton of these in this video. We have the Ruthless Aggression SmackDown Champion Tag Team Championships, one of my favorite belts of all time. I really love this belt a lot. I love the blue color. I wish that um, they would bring back this belt for SmackDown Live and do the same thing for Monday Night Raw side. Next up, we have the other half of that, so we have two versions of it there, so this is the other half. We have another big gold. We have the MDT World Tag Team Championship, and this is one half. There's obviously two of them, and the current champions are Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. Next up, we have the current day WWE Championship, and this is a belt that we've gotten so many different times, but it is a great looking championship. We have another big gold. We have one half of the Raw Tag Team Championships. Really wish they would change the title design instead of just doing a different strap and plate color of the penny belt. We have the WWE Spinner Rated R version for Edge. Really nice. This even spins, so that's very unique about this title. Used to be really rare, but now it is very easy to come by, so it really lost its value. We have another WWE Current Championship. Another Raw Women's Championship. The European Championship. Really wish they would bring this title back. I think it could bring a lot of prestige back. If they gave it to somebody like Cesaro or Rusev, I would really love if they brought this title back. An excellent job by Mattel of bringing this, uh, this belt to life in figure form. We have the WWE Championship again. Money in the Bank briefcase. We're going to skip briefcases. Screw briefcases. We're just going to move on from those. So I have a few here I'm going to get rid of. Next up, we have one half of the NXT tag titles. This is the older version. This came with the Walmart exclusive American Alpha as well as the Target exclusive Revival. No, the Target exclusive... Did they come with a Revival? I don't, I don't remember, but I know they came with DIY as well. Next up, we have my favorite version of the Intercontinental Championship right here, guys, and that is the Oval title is what they used to call or what a lot of people call it. And I love this version. I wish that uh, they would bring this look for it back. I just like this one. This is the one I grew up with, so I, I would love to see this one make a return. 
Another U.S. title. We have the crappy version of the MDT Elite Championship. We have the current day WWE Cruiserweight title. Very beautiful championship in figure form. We have one of those Mattel Chase WWE Championships with a gold strap. Another United States title. We have one half of the WWE Tag Titles, and I absolutely hated this belt. I, I could not stand it, and so glad that it went away. Um, the updated versions, which is uh, right here, the Raw side, and then we have the SmackDown side somewhere in here, maybe right here. Yeah, so the, I, I just wish they would get rid of this title design. I don't like it anymore. It's, it's run its course. Let's get some creative tag titles. We have another WWE title, another WWE title, a World Heavyweight Championship. Like I said, guys, you guys are going to see a ton of duplicates in this video. We have another World Heavyweight Championship, another United States Championship. We have the Attitude Era World Tag Titles. I really love this belt. You know, it, it went away at the beginning of the Ruthless Aggression Era, but what a great looking tag title. I just love this one, this one so much. Definitely one of my favorite designs for the tag titles ever. Another big gold, another U.S., our first look at the WWE Universal Championship, and my god, guys, did they crap on this belt when it first came out. I mean, they they literally just, it was just a mess when this belt came out at SummerSlam 2016. When Finn Balor won it, I would have loved it if Finn Balor didn't get injured, but um, it's just a shame to see. This, this belt had so much potential, and then they just rehashed the WWE Championship, so really big shame to see that. We had the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Definitely a difference between today's current, you know, Cruiserweight Championship and then the older one from the Ruthless Aggression Era. Look at that difference. Next up, we have my custom SmackDown Live tag title before we got one from Mattel. We have the Oval Intercontinental Championship with the purple strap. Very beautiful title belt. You know, I think it'd be cool if they brought back the purple strap for the IC belt, even though, you know, it's for the Cruiserweight title right now. Still a good looking championship. We also have the uh, Cruiserweight medal right here, speaking of Cruiserweight titles. But what a great looking belt. They need to bring back the Oval title. Next up, we have the current NXT Tag Team Championship, and what a great looking title belt. I think it looks even better in figure form. That silver plated over the gold looks incredible. And then we have another United States Championship. I mean, my God, how many is that already? Here we have three, like, tell me, look how many championships, guys. Three more Raw Tag Titles to add to the ones we've already seen. We have another Intercontinental Overall Championship, another WWE and Universal Championship, and then another Universal Championship. We have a dull version of the Big Gold Championship and another half of the World Tag Titles. We have another White Strap Intercontinental title, looking absolutely beautiful. We have a Million Dollar Championship. Really disappointed in the Million Dollar Championship. I wish they could have done something better with the paint. I just feel, feel like it's too dull to be the Million Dollar Championship. We have a dull version of the WWE Spinner Belt. Another US title. Another big gold title. We have another WWE Championship. Our first look at the Big Eagle Championship. One of my favorite title belts of all time. I actually have a replica of this one. I also have replicas of the Universal, the Big Gold World Heavyweight, and the Spinner Belt. And this is just such a beautiful title. I think it looks even better in figure form. Here we have the blue strap version from uh, when it was first introduced. And what just such a beautiful title, guys, especially with the blue strap. I mean, my God, what, what one of my favorite title belt designs of all time. Here we have some fan mail from one of my boys. Can't remember who sent this. I believe it was... I can't remember. I'm so sorry. But we have a Red Strap Intercontinental Championship with the Oval. I really think this is nice. It's really nicely done, too. Um, it doesn't chip or anything. I would love to use that one day down the line. We have another MDT... Or MDT. We have another WWF World Tag Title. Another Dull Spinner Belt. We have another one of those Ruthless Aggression SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. We have another Intercontinental Oval Championship and another WWE Championship. I mean, my goodness at how many WWE Championships we have. We have a ton of Money in the Bank briefcases. Another one. Another one. And reaching way back here, another one. And another one. I like the Chase belts way better. They're, they're on display with my Seth Rollins. I love the smaller version better, way more accurate. 
We have the first version of the WWE Championship before they upgraded to the current version. If I re until, look at that, my first figure, the uh, first belt that I pick up. Look at the difference. I love this one way more than this. This is just crappy. This looks way better. It's lifted. It's bright and just just way better. Next up, we have one of my custom championships for the PickFed Vindications MDT Revolutionary Championship with the fist on there, looking absolutely beautiful. Another custom championship, we have the MDT Extreme Championship on the line 24-7, one of MDT Live's top championships. Uh, continuing the custom trend, we have the MDT Iron Man Championship, a stipulation-only championship. One of my favorite belts in my collection. I love that one so much. It's even got Iron Man's head on there. We have probably my favorite WWE figure belt ever, the MDT Championship in all its glory. Love the zebra strap, love the MDT in the middle. Got the MDT Live logo, got the world logo over here in our colors. Just truly represents MDT wrestling. What a, what a beautiful championship that it is. We have the WWE Women's Championship, made famous by Trish and Lita and ladies of that nature. Uh, Mickey James as well. We have another Universal Championship. Another, no, it is not another WWE Championship. It's the WWE title from 2013. What a beautiful looking belt. I wish they would have held this one longer. Another Raw Tag title. Another United States title. Another Big Gold title. Another Penny Belt, which is the worst title design ever. Another worst title design ever in the Penny Belt. Big Gold. Another Big Gold. Another Big Gold. And... Another big gold. Got another custom belt. We have the MDT Elite Championship, the upgraded version. Way better here. You got the MDT side plates on there. The main championship on MDT Vindication. We have another SmackDown Live tag title. Another WWE Championship. A Jax tag team title. A Winged Eagle dull version. A Winged Eagle better version with the brightness on there. Another WWE Championship. Another European Championship. Big Gold. Another United States title. I think this is our first look at the first version of the NXT Championship. So right here you guys can see we have two NXT titles. I think I have a third here. So here is three NXT tag titles um, looking very nice. I, I think I like this version better than the current version just because the current version is pretty much just like the women's version. So I think I like this one better. It's very unique. I love the middle plate on it. So that's very unfortunate that uh, they got rid of this title design. But it did look great when it was, you know, being ran on NXT. We have another Raw tag title and another NXT title. We have a big black briefcase. We have the first version of the Iron Man title looking like crap. And we have another half of the NXT Tag Titles, the first version. We have the Hardcore title, custom painted by yours truly. Very underrated championship. Wish it would come back to WWE. What, a, what an amazing title. Very, a very big inspiration for the Extreme Championship on MDT Live. Then we have my own custom version of the SmackDown Live Women's title. We have the WWE Championship from 2013. Another Hardcore title. And then another Big Gold. A dull Big Gold. NXT Tag Title First Version and another Big Gold. We have one half of the MDT Tag Titles looking like crap. Need to upgrade these. My God, they look rough. Another Million Dollar Championship trying to escape from me. The other half of the NXT Tag Titles, the upgraded version. Just such a beautiful sight. Finally, a championship that's beautiful. We have the World Tag Title from Monday Night Raw in the Ruthless Aggression Era as I need the camera. Another NXT Tag Title First Version. Another World Tag Title, Big Gold, NWO Big Gold, so it's a little bit different than the Big Golds we've been seeing. Raw Tag Championship, we have another Big Gold, European Championship, another Jax Tag Title, another WWE Spinner Rated R version, uh... A Jack Spinner US title, which is way better than Mattel's. Mattel, I actually sell all of my US spinners that are Mattel because this is more accurate to me. Much larger, it has the details in there. It's, it just looks a lot better on the figure. You can custom paint it. It even has the stitching inside the strap. So this is a really underrated Jack's championship. Let's bring them all to the forefront right here. We're, we're, we're down to a small pile. Uh, we have a dull version of the World Tag Titles. Custom Raw Championship before we got the Mattel version. We have the other half of the MDT World Tag Titles, one of my favorite belts ever. 
another SmackDown Live Tag Championship, the other half of my custom SmackDown Live Tag Championship, Universal Title, Universal Title, Universal Title, Got any more? Got any more Universal Titles? And Universal Title. I think that does it for the Universal Championship. I think I have eight or nine of these. Another U.S. Championship. U.S. Championship. Another Big Gold. Another U.S. Title. WWE Cruiserweight Championship. First version of the NXT Tag Title. Another Big Gold. Other half of the World Tag Titles from Monday Night Raw and the Ruthless Aggression Era. Another NXT Tag Title. I didn't realize I had so many of the NXT Tag Championship. We have another Oval Intercontinental Title, and then we have the first version of the United States Championship. I think I like the Scratch logo better for this belt, but I'm not sure. We have the first version of the Revolutionary Championship. We have another WWE title, a Big Eagle WWF title, another Big Eagle WWF title, NXT Championship, 2013 WWE Championship, the Smoking Skull title, what a beautiful looking belt, the base championship for the Iron Man title, one of the most underrated titles ever, I would love a replica of this, it's supposed to be snake skin on the strap there, but they didn't add that detail, that's okay though, what a great looking belt, and I love personalized championships, so that, that is very nice, we have another big gold, another US, another blue strap, WWF Big, big Eagle, WWE Championship, the upgraded version of the World Tag Titles from Monday Night Raw. What a great! I think this one's more accurate than the lighter gold version that came out previously. This is the Ringside Exclusive Five Pack version. What an epic looking title! We have the Intercontinental Championship with white strap. We have three Raw Tag Team Championships. We have two more, though. I did not realize that I had so many of these guys. Like, so many Raw and SmackDown tag titles. Speaking of which, we have another one right here. A big gold. An ECW championship looking absolutely beautiful. I actually used to have multiple, multiple of these, but I used them to make customs. Probably shouldn't have done that because this belt actually is pretty rare. We have the Intercontinental Championship again. We have it again. Didn't realize I had so many of those as well. We have the Undisputed Championship or the WWE Championship from the Ruthless Aggression Era. We have another Oval IC Belt, a Big Eagle. We have the other half of the MDT Tag Titles. We have another World Tag Title. The uh, sort of weirdish version of the US title. You can see the gold's a bit different. It's like a dull championship but it's not completely dull. I really like the way this came out. I think it's Elite 23 Cesaro or Elite 11 Miz came with that belt. We have another Cruiserweight Championship. We have another WWE title. Um, a dull version of the WWE Championship. Another Big Gold. Another Winged Eagle. We have the Horror Championship. The MDT Horror Championship. Brand new title here on the channel looking great. We have the NXT Championship. We have a, a smaller version of the Undisputed Championship. We have another World Tag Title. Another European Title. WWE Championship from 2013. We have the Women's Championship that came with Alundra Blaze. The Walmart Flash Black, Flashback Series Exclusive. Looking really great. Probably the skinniest title belt that Mattel's ever made. Really interesting with the pink strap and everything. Only one single line for the whole. So this is a very unique title. We have another U.S. title, we have another Big Eagle, we have another Big Gold, another Big Gold, but this one's actually different. You can see that it is customized and has the red crocodile backing on the back, really like that. Used to pose that with my Dolph Ziggler uh, figure. We have a WWE Championship from 2013, another dull world tag title. We are down to the last few here. We have the European Championship. The MDT United States Championship, which is a really nice belt here. Very unique design. Half of it is stars and half of it is stripes. We have the UK Championship, which is one of the best title designs ever, I think. It just looks so great. I wish it didn't have the same you know, plate designs as the WWE title, but inside there is a really a lot of rich detail. And I would like to pick up that belt in person one day. We have two more of the US title. 
we have the World Tag Title again, another big gold, and then finally we're ending it with the ringside exclusive Matt Hardy ECW Championship that we absolutely waited eternity for. I think that it took us way too long to get this belt, but now that it is here, it is absolutely appreciated. I really love this belt a lot. But finally, guys, that does it for my WWE action figure belt collection. All right, guys, well, that pretty much does it. We finally made it all the way through. I apologize for the length of the video, but I actually uh, had been requested a lot to redo this video, so I'm glad that I could finally do that for you guys. Um, a lot of championships here. If anybody, I challenge somebody to go through and count every single belt and count how many of each championship that we have. And also, we are missing, there's actually a lot of WWE Spinner Championships on display. Um, we also have a big gold right here. Dolph Ziggler has a big gold right there, you can see. We also have, if we spin around here, you guys will see up top the John Cena's. There is a ton of spinner belts on display up there. I didn't feel like getting all of them down. And then uh, I think that's it for all of them. So you have all of those up there and then the one on Dolph Ziggler. And I believe that is all of the WWE figure championships in my collection, guys. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm glad I could update this video for you guys. Here are my replicas on the wall. Here we have my WWE Spinner autograph by Jeff Hardy. My Universal Championship with Finn Balor side plates. My big Gold World Heavyweight signed by Edge. And then we have my big Eagle Championship over there. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.